Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module eight, lesson three. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can solve a problem by multiplying unit fractions using a visual model. And the learning objective says, use a visual model to represent multiplication of unit fractions. In the prior learning, as students represented the fraction A over B as the product of A and 1 over B, students used the understanding that a multiple of A over B is a multiple of 1 over B to multiply a fraction by a whole number, and students multiplied fractions by whole numbers using visual models and equations. All right, so jumping into the lesson on page 191. We start with the Spark Your Learning word problem. It says, a chef uses one-fourth of a package of dough. Before using this part of the package of dough, she cuts it into thirds. What fraction of a whole package is each of these smaller pieces? All right, so I automatically recognize that I have a fourth here, and then in words, I have thirds. So I'm dealing with one-fourth and a third. So what it's saying is there's an entire package of dough, and I'm going to use this as rectangles. So here is my one whole package of dough. If you were going to cut this into fourths, because the chef uses a fourth of the package, I'm going to use red to just show where I would be cutting. So that would be fourths, right? So just this section here. It's going to be that one-fourth of the package that the chef is using. But then it says, before using this part of the package of dough, she cuts it into thirds. So now just this one-fourth needs to be cut into thirds. So now there's three pieces. So the question is, what fraction of the whole package is, is each of these smaller pieces. So we need to figure out what one piece of this one third is compared to the whole package. So I know that I have one, two, and three pieces here. So this whole thing, I would have three. That would repeat. In this section here, I would have three. In this section, I would have three. In this section, I have three. So how many total pieces would there be in this? Package, I would have three, 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 three. That would be 12 pieces. So one small piece of the whole package would be one twelfth. So one small piece, when I cut it into a third, that's one twelfth of the entire thing of dough. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page to 192. Number one says only one third of a chef's specialty pizza is left at closing time. The chef eats one half of the leftover pizza. How much of the whole pizza does the chef eat? All right, and it's showing you that one third over to the right that's showing you the pizza. So I want you to practice drawing that and trying to get one half of one third of a whole. Then in A, it says, how do you name the fraction of the whole pizza that the chef eats, and how do you know? So it's just saying, how did you come up with the fraction name based on what you did? And then B says, what part of a whole pizza does the chef eat? Write an equation to model the problem. So I want you to go ahead and just try these few problems, and then I will go ahead and go over it when you're done. All right, let's go over this. So let's draw our pizza as a circle. Okay, and it's showing this one third piece of pizza. So let's go ahead and draw, here is the toppings on my one third of pizza. It says that the chef ate one half of it. So I'm just taking what I had of my pizza and I'm cutting it in half and the chef is now going to eat this piece right here. So it says, how much of the whole pizza does the chef eat? Well, I want to show you that from here to here, there were two pieces. 
That means that in this section here, there would be two pieces. And in this section here, there would also be two pieces. So if the pieces all match and were equal, the denominator would be six. But the chef only ate one of those possible six pieces if they were all the same. So A, how do you name the fraction of the whole pizza that the chef eats? And then how do you know? So the way that we name this is we, I split the one third that I had into a half. And then I repeated that for the rest of the pizza. So I knew that there would be six pieces total in my pizza. And then I just chose my one piece that the chef ate out of my six total pieces. However you want to describe this in writing is totally fine. There are multiple different answers on what A can be, and I'm not going to take the time to write it down, but anything, as long as you're mentioning your one third and your one half and how that turned into sixth pieces, you're on the right track. And then for B, what part of a whole pizza does the chef eat? Write an equation to model the problem. So I know that I have one third pizza and then I'm taking a half. And this is where fractions get a little bit complicated. So I want to just stop and talk about this real quick. Usually when students look at fractions in this type of problem, they would say, oh, I ate it. I took it away. And they would say, oh, that's subtraction. And so that's might of what you would have chosen for your equation. But actually with fractions, what we did was we just divided all of our pizzas into a, into halves. We took two pieces, right? So we divided it into two. We divided each piece into two. Dividing by two, and I want to show you up here as a little note. So dividing by two is the exact same thing. It is equal to multiplying by a half. If you take a whole and you divide it into two pieces, you just got halves. So dividing into two makes halves. It's the same thing as multiplying by a half. So with this problem, I would choose to take my one third and then I want to multiply it by half. That's what we're going to be using in fractions. I could say one third divided by two is the exact same thing as one third times a half. And then what you want to do is you want to multiply your numerators. One times one is one and multiply your denominators. Three times two is six. And we'd end up getting the exact same answers we did above. That's just a really small intro into how we multiply with fractions. Go ahead and use this information for the rest of your problems in this lesson. And then I will see you back for module eight, lesson four. 